DHX Vancouver. This is our 3D studio. We're actually on one of our live production floors right now. We run three active lines of production with five separate floors spread across two buildings, and we're just shy of 400 artists. So all of the folks that you're looking at behind currently in our view uh, is our animation team. So this is the folks that you know, breathe life into the characters. So one of the things that we look for and, and as we're interviewing and onboarding people into our studio is skill is one thing you can teach, but it's tough to teach passion. So what we strongly look for is people that strive to create um, incredible character moments, uh, focusing on story and character development, and to always remember what we're creating is for kids. So if you can smile at it when you're working at it, we're probably halfway there. It's really about curiosity. It's curiosity of finding what is out there. So if you have a character, when you're designing that character, you want to know what's their backstory. And you're building something, you're either animating it or you're designing that character to really speak to who it is. And I think the best artists in this world that make any animation, it's about having that curiosity of the story of where that character comes from. To be able to work in production, you really have to want to be part of a team to contribute to a larger whole. When we look for people uh, to bring on board our team, the thing we're really looking for is a passion for their own particular role in the team and being able to realize it themselves. I think people are driven by a sense of uh, autonomy, being able to contribute to the whole, and of being able to express their mastery of their particular role. Your character design, your rig, your animation, your, you know, your tracking and support of the, of the artistic team. It really has to be about contributing to that, that singular vision.